sorry, brother. It's been some change. I'm so sorry. God bless you. And they move away so quickly. All right, folks. We are here with Jeff. He's been on the streets of Croydon or for London, yeah? Yeah. For how long? Two years. Two years. What ha what's happened? I was in the army for two years. Iraq, Afghanistan, Cyprus. I've done a service for this country. And now I end up like this. Why is that? I mean... First, because of the government. Secondly, because society has died. Every time you sit here, they think oh, you're a junkie or you're alcoholic or... It's not the money. It's someone to say, how, how are you? Are you okay, my friend? That is what's important in the world, you know? And that's, this is not happening no. to you? No. Yeah, but uh, what happened that you ended up on the streets? I mean, you've served the army, right? I came back, dealt, dealt with them, you know. Right. But I'm a street person, so I'm rough, I'm ready for it, you know. Right. Was your bus, yeah, he's actually at the Bethlehem at the moment because he's had a form of a breakdown. But yeah, I've ended up in, in London. Alcoholism, my parents were drinkers themselves. But... West Africa. Tongo. Yeah, Tongo. Yeah, exactly. yes. The system's broken. I pay tax all my life in the UK, yeah? Born in the UK. I run an events company. Big company. Yeah, but uh, what happened that you ended up on the streets? I mean, you've served the army, right? I came back. I was suffering from mental health. All oh, right. My family was suffering. My children were suffering. I walked out. I haven't seen my family for over two years now. Where is your family? I don't know. You don't, I don't know? I don't know. What, 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 uh, what's wrong with your mental health? I, mean, I keep on seeing guns, bombs, blood everywhere, and I wake up sweating, you know? And uh, it's getting worse and worse, and no one's helping me. So I have to come into the street, beg for money to go into the hotel. All right. And where are you usually based? Uh, any subway, anywhere that's warm. Subways, yeah. that's, that's warm yeah. from the... And you said to me that you, you, you come from originally from Turkey, but you've been yeah. born in yeah, this I was country. Born here. Yeah, I was born here. But your, your, your parents came from Turkey, yeah. right? And, yeah. and they came here in 1960-something. I was born in 1961. I'm 62 years old. What? You don't yes. look, man. Yeah. And uh, I've been suffering a long time now. But uh, I don't know what's going to happen. The government is crap. The people are shit. Society has died. Mm -hmm. And no one believes in God no more. All right. My friend, tell me about your childhood, about your growing up. My childhood up. was good. I had a very good childhood. My family was excellent. And I, was, I always wanted to join the army. Always, always. And I joined in 2011. I came out 2014. And you were sent actually to, to, to fight? I was a cook. I was cooking for the troops. All right. God bless you, brother. Have you got a cigarette? I'm so sorry, my man. I was a cook. I was cooking for the troops. You were cooking I was for... in Basra. In Basra? Yeah. That's what, what is Basra? Just remind Iraq. me. Iraq, right, yeah. Iraq. Gulf one. Yep. 93. 2011. All right, Gulf. Golf, golf 193, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh. And now look at me, brother. God bless you, thank you. Yeah. Country shit on me, bro. Yeah. See, if it was kind people like that, I would survive. I wouldn't survive here. Right. So what happened after you came back? I came back, so I lost my family. I walked out. I want help for everywhere. I went to help. everywhere I went for help. No. Nah. All they're doing is giving me injections every three months. Just to calm what me down. injections were you getting? Mental health. Mental health. If I don't get the injections, I, I, I go crazy, you know. And you're still on it? Yeah. All these years? Yeah. On these injections? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what they give you? Obviously. Yeah, some sort of to ease the, ease the um, what do you call it? I'm too high. I'm, All right, the, the sedate. Yeah, they yeah. try to sedate you. Calm me down, you know. Tranquilizers. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, brother. All right, Jeff. And uh, how much you can make make a day begging? It depends. it depends. Depends. As soon as I make my hotel money, twenty pounds, I'm gone to the hotel. You know, twenty pound for the hotel. Yeah. What hotel is that? It's Fortin Heath. Fortin Heath. There yeah. is a hotel there for twenty pound. Uh, I've heard about that hotel. That's, yeah, it's that's... called the Clock Tower. 
the clock tower. That's yeah. a good good price actually. Yeah, what? it's because it's because I'm homeless and because I'm ex army, you know. All right, so that's why you're getting good yeah. price. Somebody like me would, uh, how much I would have to pay? About 25, 30 pounds. 25, 30 pounds for clock tower yeah. in Thornton Heat. Oh, I see. And uh, is, is the hotel like uh, full of homeless people or who is yeah, there? Yeah, homeless, alcoholics. Homeless alcoholics. Drug addicts. All right. Does it smell? Very much, yeah. Very, okay, so it's like a hostel. Yes, yeah, a hostel. It's a hostel, yeah. right? But you pay for it. Yeah. Uh, you get it. All right, Jeff. So yeah, you came back, ended up on the streets. Well, yes, that was you weren't on the streets. You were still in the with the, your family when you came. No, back. I didn't stay with the family long because of my, you know, because of my mental health. You know, it was getting really bad. All right. And one day I just walked out. So who who do you have like Nobody. in terms of children? I got I got a daughter. She's 22 now, and a son. I think he's 14 now. Where did you see them? I haven't seen them for two years, but I don't know. I don't know where they are. All right. Oh God, maybe one day, maybe one day when I sort myself out, I will. Well, I'm going to start crying. I hope you see your, 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 your children soon. Uh, and uh, is there any advice would you give to people, uh, to young people, not to make the mistakes you, you did? Trust yourself, but nobody else. Trust yourself, but nobody else. Yeah. All right. And uh, is there a lot of like substance abuse on the street? That there you is. See? There's so many crack and heroin. Keep away from all that. It doesn't make. It doesn't help. It doesn't help. I've been on the streets all this time, and I, I've never. I've, I'm not on any substance or nothing like that. Thank God. Mm -hmm, yeah. And uh, if there is somebody want to wanting to help you, is there a phone number or an no, email? No, I just here every day. Every day on the high street of yeah, Croydon, if yeah. somebody wants to help you. Yeah, I'm here every day, this spot, every day. Well, I haven't seen you actually. I've been here before and haven't seen yeah, you. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. But you, 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 now here, you are yeah. here, right? All right, my friend, is there anything else would you like to no, add? God bless you all. Take care of yourselves. And don't do the mistakes like that. Don't join the army. It's all a fake. You help your country, but they don't help you. So be careful. All right, thank you very much. God bless you. God bless God you. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Alhamdulillah. Cheerio.